Solar Portable Generator DIY by JW Solar USA. Guys, uh, you've seen all these projects. It has been going for quite a while. So today we are soldering all the terminals of the Life PO4 lithium ion phosphate batteries from battery hookup. So battery hookup hooked me up with these batteries and I started this project. I'm going to be running um, these packs that I have right here. So this is what I've done, guys. I know I have a subscriber that has batteries like this. He was wondering how am I going to go about this. Well, I explained it on the previous video. So if you see, I got all the terminals wired and soldered. So I use a four gauge wire, which is a, a earth ground cable wire that I bought from the um, local store I'd wear. Hold on, let me show you. This is the copper wire I bought. It's a 4G a beer copper and um, a 15 foot, which is a 4.7 meters. And guys, this is what I have done and use this guy as a beefy wire instead of using number four gauge wire, which is gonna be bigger with the insulation and everything. It's gonna be all clunky, probably it's gonna be really hard or difficult to deal with here. So what I've done here, if you see back here, I run this wire and use a um, heat shrink and put it into the heat shrink. I created a wire, um, a solid four gauge wire with a just tiny, you can see so tiny, you would have been bigger if you use like a jump pack or something. So what I've done, you see that's the strand right there. It's a heavy gauge. See that? That's really heavy gauge I use and put it, uh, put a heat shrink all the way in. I bought a heat shrink and put it all the way into the, 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 uh, the copper wire, get into the tubing, then I heat it up. Well, sorry guys, I didn't show you how I did that, but I've done it with the help of this guy here. I got my butane um, finder, F-I-N-T-H-E-R, finder. So this, I have a, uh, I made a review of this. They use this for cakes and decorating and all the stuff. This thing can take a huge amount of uh, gas, butane, to fill up this. And I use this, and I run my show, and uh, this is what I've created. I came all the way and put a wire and uh, try to go turn, bend all the way so I can connect that pack over there. And I came back all the way and connect the pack. So all these things here are the same length, the wires. So I used this one, I was gonna connect it directly, just the terminals, like this guy here. Okay, these are the negatives. So I taped them, they can't touch. So these guys would have been soldered directly to this wire. But I wanna create a flexibility on the system so now you can see the wires can move freely instead of um, um, breaking or being a kind of heavy tension so um, some people say oh well that's just a waste of time you would have just soldered them that way um, I decided to do this again for the second reason because if any of these packs died I'll just disconnect from here or disconnect from here and remove the pack easily so i can interchange packs here if i wanted to okay if any pack end up dying outside i see my production going down or my runtime i would disconnect the packs or i can test them individually with these terminals here i can just disconnect them disconnect from here and do whatever and for the movement it helps me the flexibility you see how it moves so it's not going to be on stress because these ones are flexible instead of this solid four gauge wire is tough. 
So you see the movements there? I created a, a kind of a flexibility for movement, you know, if you're transporting it. You know, I'm going to put in a casting wheel. It's going to be having some vibration. So instead of putting stress into the battery where it connected to the BMS to break, because these wires are like 22 gauge, they are smaller wires, so tiny. So I paralleled them all to a beefy solder so that, um, you know, transferring power is not going to be any problem. It's not going to be a loss of efficiency from here and connect to another bigger one. So this connection right here is number six. It's number six gauge. Then it comes to the main boss here, which is uh, number four. From six to four. So this is what I've done here. So the end to terminate the ends here, I decided to cut the, each shrink again and just the tubing and shove it in here and use the touch and blow touch it and all of a sudden it seals the end so that will be the end of this so this side is going to be another end for the negative which i have the positive this side here this one here is going to be the negative and this side here is going to be the positive okay so if you look they have tape on them and this one doesn't have a tape okay so that's the negative because it was the black so if you can see i put some beefy beefy solder here so transferring power or pulling power from the pack it's not going to be any problem so i have to finish up and connect the negatives here and i will show you in my next video how this battery everything works and i'm going to be putting the charger on the end there or with solar will charge it up like and subscribe jw solar usa live from minnesota